And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, happy Sunday to everybody out there. A lot going on over these next 24 to 48 hours. Satellite as of about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, picking up on some pretty thick cloud cover here in the area. That's why we've seen chillier temperatures than what was forecasted. That's going to be ahead of our next system. That's really going to bring multiple hazards here into the area. A lot of alerts issued for the Texas Panhandle, so I'll kind of break it down piece by piece here. A blizzard warning for the northwest part of the area. They'll likely see the worst of conditions through the day tomorrow. That's in effect from 3 o'clock early tomorrow morning all the way through six o'clock early Tuesday morning and then a winter storm watch where it's going to be slightly less hazardous but still very dangerous. That's going to include Perryton up toward Beaver County up toward Lipscomb County as well. Now a high wind watch. These is this is for areas that are still going to see some very strong winds but less of a snow threat. We're talking about uh, snow accumulations for these counties maybe about one maybe two inches on the high end but uh, snow not as hazardous as their friends toward the north and then down toward the southeast where winds aren't going to be quite as strong a wind advisory. So kind of going into detail about this event. We're going to continue to see breezy conditions for the rest of today. These these winds will be more out of the south and the southeast. Temperatures tonight probably dipping into the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees. So wind tracker here throughout this entire event. Like I said, very breezy all throughout the rest of this evening into the overnight period. The only places that are going to see calm winds tonight are those same places that are really going to pick up on the winds early tomorrow morning as that cold front uh, pushes through. So sustained winds tonight at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now this is at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is as people are waking up. The cold front hasn't quite moved its way through the area yet at this time. You notice Clayton just at that point starting to pick up on those northwest winds, but still some pretty breezy winds and about 15 to 20 miles per hour as you're heading to work tomorrow. Then that front comes in and look at those colors blossom here on the map. Sustained winds 30 to 40 miles per hour out of the northwest. This is at about 2 o'clock. And you notice the strongest of those winds in the same area as where that blizzard warning was issued. So sustained winds 30 to 40 miles per hour uh, all throughout the day. So we could be talking about gusts easily over 50 miles per hour. Some could even see gusts over 60 to 65 miles per hour at some points during the day. Now this is at 5, 6, 7 o'clock as people are heading home from work. You notice these winds not really letting up all that much out of the northwest. So as people are heading home from work, it is going to be a very dangerous driving situation. If I had to give any piece of advice, it would be just to stay inside if you can tomorrow. If you have a potentially remote job, just stay inside and work from home. Uh, see if you can maybe let your boss come in a, a little bit uh, early or late. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just try and stay home is all I am saying with this event. Uh, as far as precipitation and temperatures go, I'm not ruling out we could actually see a couple thunderstorms uh, in the eastern part of the area. That'll be ahead of our system. Uh, this will be overnight into early Monday morning. Temperatures, you notice pretty steady in the low 40s, and then we're going to dip into the 30s tomorrow morning, and we're going to keep dropping from there. 6, 7 o'clock, Clayton, Dalhart, up towards Cimarron County. You're going to start picking up on that snow early tomorrow morning, and that's when the winds look to pick up as well. This is at about 10 o'clock. Still some uh, pretty heavy snow showers up toward the northwest and western parts of the area. Heading through the afternoon, we'll slowly see that snow chance uh, spread eastward as we head into the afternoon. And keep in mind, this is during the daytime hours, especially at 5 or 6 o'clock. We're talking about winds at 30 to 40 miles per hour, and we're talking about snow falling from the sky. This is going to reduce visibility by a lot. We're talking about visibilities under a quarter of a mile, so very dangerous driving conditions. Really, just dangerous conditions in general if you're doing anything outside. Uh, snow accumulations likely limited up toward the northern part of the area. Places that are under the blizzard warning, probably about two to five inches of snow. As far as Amarillo and the central panhandle goes, I'm saying maybe up to an inch, maybe two inches of snow in some of those higher end amounts. So a very ugly day setting up for Monday. We'll slightly calm down for the middle part of the week. Winds stay breezy. Then we're watching our next system that could move its way into the area. That'll be on Friday. Maybe bringing some snow. Also some of the coldest air of the year where we could see temperatures dip down into the single digits. So definitely stay tuned in the News Channel 10 for the latest updates.